This is the most frustrating offense to play against in Madden 24. Has explosive run plays. And unstoppable glitch routes all over the field. So if you guys want to see what overpowered offense I'm using the results like this. Stick around after the intro. The For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my Denver Broncos offensive and Las Vegas Raiders defensive ebooks. If you guys want more help, you can download these or any of my ebooks simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. In today's video, we will once again be using the Giants once again. For one, because I want to continue to show that my offenses and defenses can work with any team, not just my favorite team, the Philadelphia Eagles, who I will be going back to now that they traded for Kevin Byard. And two, because I actually enjoy playing with them, as they have a lot of team speed and players that are perfect for this scheme like Saquon Barkley and Darren Waller, who I'm going to use in a very different way today. But Daniel Jones is terrible, so I'm ready to move on to some new teams. The Seahawks and the Niners are in the lead as they have gotten the most votes, but give me your suggestions in the comments section for who you'd like to see me use next. And if you're enjoying the content, please make sure to be a subscriber and hit the like button as it really helps out the channel and I appreciate all the support. In this game I will be playing against a much better team with the cover athlete and Josh Allen himself and my opponent is pretty confident at the start of the game about his advantage. Making me want to shut him up already, but I do my talking with my game. The defense that I'll be using in today's video is once again the B Nog, the Big Nickel over G, which I have been calling the meta defense since the October patch that completely destroyed a lot of the best defenses and blitzes in the game. But I will be focusing mostly on offense in this gameplay. I did already make a full breakdown of this defense though, so if you guys want to see more about how to use this, I will have a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video, so stick around for that. I don't have enough time to set up all my audible plays though, as I pick a random cover zero and get torched right over the middle on the first play before he predictably hurries me up on the next play and does it again and fuck this guy forcing me to call two timeouts this early in the game so i can set up my audible plays and the first play after doing that results in an interception fuck you oh get out of here that linebacker ain't that good on offense, the formation I'll be showcasing today in this game is once again the eye from close, which I've already made several videos about. But the more I use this offense, the more it evolves, as I'll be showing you guys a brand new adjustment that makes this offense an absolute cheat code. In the first video that I put out about this scheme, I mentioned how the October 4th patch made it so that the read and react AI, which was newly implemented in the Madden 24, is what made running the ball so difficult in the first place. In the patch notes, however, it clearly states that the read and react AI will only be on if the defense has at least the same amount of linebackers and defensive linemen on the field as the offense has offensive linemen and tight ends. Now in my last video I mentioned that the I from close has seven by default. That's five linemen, a tight end, and another tight end at the fullback spot. But in that game I accidentally found an option in the packages where you can put a tight end at wide receiver, giving this formation a total of eight which most defenses can't even match, as typical 3-4 and 4-3 defenses only have 7. The only defense that I can think of that even has enough linebackers and linemen is the 4-4 split, which no one really uses, and maybe the goal line. So basically all I have to do is put a tight end at wide receiver, and I can guarantee that the read and react AI will be turned off for the entire game. The only problem with this adjustment, though, is it puts the tight end at the wrong receiver spot, because this spot is where I really get all my one-play touchdowns from, as this is also the spot where the post route is on the PA tight end leak. So I definitely want a receiver there. So instead of using that in the packages, I find that it's best to just manually substitute the tight end on the other receiver spot instead, as this route usually is just check downs anyway. But if you're in a league that has rules about tight ends at receiver, just use the package setting as a way of explaining it slash excusing it because it's in the game that way. My four play audibles are going to be the PA tight end league, which I mentioned is a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game for this formation. I can't show you every setup of this in the gameplay though, as I can only show you based off of what my opponent uses on defense. But I did make a full practice mode style breakdown of all the setups in this offense so if you guys want to learn more i'll once again have a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video so stick around for that the next play is the double outs as these speed out routes beat virtually every defense in the game outside my next audible is the pa deep go cross as this deep in route beats any defense multiple ways and my last two are going to be for my run plays as i keep the zone weak in my audibles for inside runs and a halfback stretch as my fifth and current play since i will run this play the most on the first play it comes out what looks like a pre-patch defense in the dollar <laughs> 
<laughs> Way too small to stop this rushing attack. Anytime I see a small defense like this, I will do three things. Number one, I switch to the zone weak to run inside. Number two, I flip the play with the right stick so that I can run behind the tight ends on the strong side. And number three, I'm going to call a hurry up to keep him in this look so I can do it again. Until they either stop me or they have to call a timeout to change defenses, just like this douchebag did to me on the first drive. On the next play, he starts to shift to the strong side, so I stay with the halfback stretch, as this is the most explosive run in the game right now. The trick is to motion across the tight end at wide receiver and hike the ball once he gets past the left tackle. Doing this will guarantee the edge and create a wall of blockers that I can just sprint around. And since I have a tight end at wide receiver, the blocking is even better now. He could go all the way. And someone better check on your boy because he just got really quiet really quick. On defense, his plan seems to be to start chucking the ball to get that score back fast, but nothing's really open against my cover six trap, as we get a sack on the very first play to get into a quick third and 19. But this is Josh Allen, so it's not going to be that easy. Bruh. He runs on the next play before I send a blitz again, and not even Josh Allen can make that throw. Although I do think Josh Allen would try to make that throw. Back on offense, my opponent clearly hasn't learned his lesson as he comes out in another small defense. And we're close to scoring on the very next play before we hurry it up to keep him in this defense and we actually score on the next play. The good news is my man is still alive as he starts to bitch and complain about me playing the exact same way that he is. Like he hasn't only been running the exact same stupid defense the entire game. Now down 14-0, he is clearly playing with urgency as he passes on just about every play before he starts running once again once he gets inside my territory. He eventually finishes the drive to cut the lead in half Damn it! before going for two just like every douchebag in Madden. No soup for you. Only this guy is special because he's also now going for onside kicks. You know, because he's an idiot. How about no? Now with a short field, he's still in that dollar defense, only this time he switched to the spinner blitz. And it's actually doing a pretty good job as he starts shutting down my runs. On the next play, I decide to switch to the PA tight end leak, as both of these receivers should be able to score from here. Even with a tight end running this route, just make sure to put your fastest tight end at the spot as we punch it in to push the lead back to 15. He doesn't go away that easily though, as he hits me with a quick strike on the very next play, God damn it! before actually getting the two-pointer this time the exact same way. He onside kicks me again though to give me another short field before half, and the spinner blitz is still shutting down my run plays. But I'm not giving up on them yet, as this inside run is still having a lot of success before I go back outside and put on an absolute clinic and footwork. as we almost had another touchdown before he pushes me backwards on the next play for a five yard loss. But before that loss, I was already over 200 yard mark with just 10 carries averaging a whopping 20 yards an attempt. But he seems to have a defense figured out to slow me down to get me to a third and long. And now almost a halftime and needing seven, I switched to the double outs since these speed out routes can beat just about every defense in the game. And since he hasn't seen me pass yet, he will never see this coming. Before I switch to the QB sneak to finish the drive. <laughs> I said before I switched to the QB sneak to finish the drive. Thank you. We get the ball after half, but Buffalo Bill still can't make me just work the entire length of the field as he fails on another onside kick. Will someone tell this guy how to do the onside kick glitch already? And now I know that I am one touchdown away from another rager, and since I know he doesn't like me to run, that's all I'm going to do from now on. As we get another big carry and almost my third long touchdown run of the game. I hit the speed out route one more time, and he made an adjustment, but it just didn't matter as nothing really stops this route to get me to a fourth and manageable that I decide to go for. So I just run the speed out route on the other side, and Darren Waller is just as hard to stop as we get the first before hurrying him up and punching it in right over the middle Fuck you! now i know these schemes made this guy look like a bum but once again my opponent had a respectable record so it's not the player it's the place as he had a much better team and a solid record and still got stomped the fuck out like the rest of them so if that's it, that's the video if you guys enjoyed the content please make sure to be a subscriber and hit the like button and let me know in the comment section what teams you guys want me to use going forward other than that if you guys want to see more about the offenses and defenses i was using in today's video to get the win i will have links in there popping up on screen and that's it thanks for watching until next time man one shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team we you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below